In this video, we will present the ENTP ribbons. For that, we will use the example simple. In the Home tab, you can find the classics, the saving options, the copy and paste options, the undo and redo options, and the select all options. In the Tools section, the Zap cursor is used to selectively delete or trim an object or a wire. For example, if I want to delete only one branch of this connection without deleting the two others, I must use the Zap. The Name cursor is used to display or edit the object-like signal or device names. The Zap cursor can be used to hide the names. When they are displayed, the name can also be modified or hidden by double-clicking on them. The Draw Signal cursor is used to draw any types of signals. For example, assuming this network is three-phase, we can draw a three-phase bus and then extract only phase A out of it. The Draw Graphics section is used to annotate or add graphics to the design. The goal is to provide extra information or comments so other users can understand your designs. The Find options can be used to locate a signal or a device by name or a device with an error. The search can be done in the whole design or only in the current circuit if the design is built with several pages and sub-circuits. In the Options tab, new pages can be added to build the design on several pages. The design preferences can be changed and the sheet size adjusted. This tab also contains the library and sub-circuit options. In the View tab, you have the options to help move through the design. You can zoom or pan the display. You can also hide or show the console and the parts library or adjust resolution for the device web pages. In the Display tab, you have the option to exclude or include selected devices. For example, if I want to momentarily remove the capacitance from my circuit, I can select it and click on Exclude. It is as if it were deleted. In the Simulations tab, you can modify the simulation options, the type of simulation, the length of simulation, the time step. You can run a simulation, And then you can use one of the visualization tools to look at the results. Thank you for watching this video. If you need more information or if you want to get informed when new content is released, please subscribe to our LinkedIn community and to our newsletter.